What's up guys? If you know anything at all about Nerf sniper blasters, you know you have to add some kind of rifling to the end of the barrel to get the kind of accuracy that you see in my videos. Well today I'm going to be taking a look at six brand new types of rifling, and I'm going to be comparing them to see which of these is the best. Let's get started. To begin with, I'll start with a full disclosure. These were sent to me for free by a creator in the Nerf hobby called Shanya, who's based in China. They were sent to me for free for the purposes of testing. Now, unlike the rifling attachments that you're probably used to, these don't use string to impart spin on the darts. Instead, they use bearings. Bearings have the advantage that they don't reduce the velocity by as much. These two here in white with an orange protective sleeve over the bearings have nine bearings in groups of three and come in a 10 degree or 20 degree twist rate version. They fit on a 16 mm outer diameter barrel and use three grub screws to fasten it down onto the barrel. These two are currently available on Monkey Mod's web store for only 15 USD each. They're 3D printed in PLA, which is not the most heat resistant material, so honestly I probably wouldn't recommend it for here in Australia with our high temperatures. But elsewhere in the world, or if you're careful with not leaving it in a hot car, these should be fine. But that brings me to these two, which are the same exact design as the first two, but they're SLS printed in nylon, which has a much higher heat tolerance. These also come in a 10 and 20 degree version, although they're not currently available on Monkey Mod's web store like those two are. So they might add them in the future, but currently I don't think you can actually get these. And then finally, these two here in gray were actually designed by a different creator. And you can find these on Thingiverse under the user called DSFRIC. These two are both open source, and that means anyone can download the files and print them for themselves. And I'll leave a link to the files down below. Something else I should probably mention is that these grey ones don't actually use bearings. Instead, aiming to be more of a cheaper DIY option, they opt to use rivets. Both of them have the same twist rate as each other, but one uses a total of 12 rivets in groups of four, while the other uses 15 rivets in groups of five. These also attach to a 16 mm outer diameter barrel, such as your workers or your artifacts and stuff like that. And they have a very unique clamping method, very similar to the fitting on the end of a garden hose, where you tighten the nuts and it clamps down harder onto the barrel. Very cool in my opinion. Now, much like the white and orange ones that I got, these were also printed in PLA, which has a very low heat tolerance. Although being open source, you can obviously print these in whatever filament you like. Without further delay though, let's get to some testing. The blaster I'll be using is the ZWQ S100. The foam darts I'll be using are the best ones currently available, which are worker darts. And I'll leave a link down below to both the blaster and the darts if you're interested. First up, let's do a chrono test to see how much each of these reduces the velocity by, beginning with having none attached for a baseline. For a baseline with none attached, we got an average of 298 feet per second. Now let's go for the PLA 10 degree bearing scar. 286, 297, 296, 280, 295, 303, 299, 295, and 257. The PLA 10 degree bearing scar got an average of 289 feet per second. Now let's try the 20 degree of the same material. 288, 289, 298, 280, 300, 295, 283, 291, duplicate 291, 297. The 20 degree actually had a slightly higher average at 291 than the 10 degree did. So I'd have to say they're close enough together that there's not really any difference between a 10 degree or 20 degree bearing scar. But now let's try the SLS nylon 10 degree bearing scar. 289, 291. 267, 284, 292, 
290, 288, 296, 274, 294, and that's it. The SLS nylon 10 degree got an average of 286 feet per second, which is slightly lower than the rest, although close enough that it's basically no difference. Now let's try the SLS nylon 20 degree. 297, 292, 287, 291, 296, 299, 293, 276, 284, 281, and that's it. The SLS nylon 20 degree got an average of 289, which is again higher than the 10 degree did. I'd have to guess that the results are pretty much just within margin of error, and there's no real difference between any of these in terms of velocity. But now let's try the two that use rivets rather than bearings to see if there's any real difference in their velocities, starting with the one with 12 rivets. 284. 273, 293, 288, 294, 291, 290, 285, 288, And it had a misfire, so one more short. 290. The one with 12 rivets got an average of 287. Let's try the one with 15 rivets. 293. 268. 282. 301. 288. 300, 283, 281, 289, 290, and that's it. And the one with 15 rivets got an average the exact same as the one with 12 rivets at 287. Putting all of the numbers up side by side on the screen for you, the bare barrel was a baseline of 298 average. And then looking at all of the bearing scars and the rivet scars, they all only lost between 2 to 4% velocity, which makes them way better than a string scar barrel. So we've determined that bearing scar barrels do still lose velocity, although only between 2 to 4%. And there's no real winner between any of these in terms of velocity, they're all pretty much the same. So now I think it's gonna come down to the accuracy test to see which of these is better at a distance of 30 meters at hitting the target. Beginning with nothing attached to show you how huge a difference it makes using rifling on your Nerf Blast. First, no rifling. This is gonna be hilarious. <laughs> Actually hit one. And shot number five. <laughs> Actually hit one. And shot number five. <laughs> Way out of frame above the target. Let's put on the 10 degree 
the 3D printed one. All right. Five shots with the 10 degree. And that one just whirly birded like we didn't even have one on there at all. And that one just whirly birded like we didn't even have one on there at all. All right, we've got the 20 degree on there. Let's see if it doesn't whirly bird like the last shot from the 10 did. Beautiful. 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 And beautiful. I reckon the 20 degree is the way to go out of those two options. Beautiful. 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 And beautiful. I reckon the 20 degree is the way to go out of those two options. But now let's try the resin printed ones. Honestly, being the same design as the first 10 degree we tested, just printed with resin, I'd expect there to be some whirly birds the same as it had. That was actually really good. Next shot. Beautiful. Beautiful. Lovely. Lovely. That was actually really good. Next shot. Beautiful. Beautiful. Lovely. Lovely. I don't know, I think it's a tie between this one here and the 20 degree standard print. All right, 20 degree resin print. Hit. 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 
hits. Too high. Hit. 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 Too high. Hit. Okay, so the 20 degree resin print was also quite good. So I think it's between the 20 degree of the first lot, 10 and 20 of this lot are both really good as well. Don't need the screwdriver now, since these fit on very similarly to a hose connection. First up we have of course the four rivets per group and there's three groups. Hit. Hit. That curved off to the right. Kind of fishtailed a bit, but it hit the target. And a nice straight shot at the target. Hit. Hit. That curved off to the right. Kind of fishtailed a bit, but it hit the target. And a nice straight shot at the target. All right, loading up five last shots. I'm gonna take this one off. And we're going to test the rivet scar barrel that has five per group with three groups. With the fish tailing on some of those shots, I'd have to say this one will probably improve on that last one. An extra rivet being more spin, I imagine. Hit. 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 hit and that's all of them tested okay so after having a look at where all of the darts impacted the most accurate was easily the sls 20 degree it had by far the tightest grouping even if it's not zeroed in the center of the target second place goes to the other 20 degree that's just printed in pla and in third place the 15 rivet scar barrel so kind of unsurprisingly the three that put the most spin on the darts were also the most accurate 
but all of them were a night and day difference between not having one at all. Okay guys, so that pretty much wraps up my testing of all of these bearing and rivet scar barrels. It turns out that the ones that put the most spin on the darts were the most accurate, so the 20 degree and the 20 degree and the 15 rivet. All of them were way better than having nothing on there though, so if you can get your hands on any of these, there'll be an improvement. These two here will be available on Monkey Mods, and they're currently in stock at the time of this video. Use my discount code BRAD to save some money. And these two here you can 3D print yourself using the files that are linked down below. I'm hoping that Monkey Mods will stock these nylon ones for hotter temperatures like here in Australia. I'm currently trying to convince them to do so. Anyway, if you enjoy these kind of testing videos, consider leaving a like, comment or subscribing to the channel. That's it for this video and here's two others that you might be interested in. See ya.